Hey everyone, how's it going? So here I have a Black & Decker Bug Zapper. So this is one of the better rated and looking Bug Zapper I have seen before. And the reason why we got this because the mosquito situation, um, you know, has always been an issue during this time of year. And we, we don't have flies issue where we are at but potentially there could be um, some fly issues uh, when we are barbecuing outside. Not a lot, but they're still a nuisance. So we thought we'd get a bug zapper. This is more of a indoor, outdoor, outdoor, um, cover outdoor, like in the California room. Um, the reason why we decided on this model is because it's safe or it's safer to use a specific type of UV light that does attract bugs but won't be harmful to human beings. Um, at least that's what they claim. And this should cover up to about 6,000 square feet. So uh, radius wise, um, that's about 3,000 um, in one direction. So it will attract any bugs. Um, at nighttime, daytime, uh, flies, for example, mosquitoes, wasps, bees, and it has big roots enough for it to attract and a tray on the bottom to remove them. Uh, so that's nice. It is a, a version where it includes a cleaning brush as well as a hanging chain. So we'll unbox this and see how it looks like in person. So it is preferred to be to be kept inside or at least in the cover area. So if you're looking for one that is more uh, for outdoor use, where it's going to meet elements like rain, water, moisture, lots of moisture. There's another version. It's more like a lamp looking type of bug zapper uh, versus this is just pure white. And it looks more like a heater than anything else. And since we're going to have covering for this um, underneath a California room, we do like this design a little bit better than the black lamp-like bugs after design. So far, the look, we're liking how it looks. It's like an ultra-white made out of plastic. Of course, all bug zapper usually are made out of plastic. Here's the manual. It's just really just plug and play. Let's see, anything else we got in here? Should have a brush. Come with a brush and some mounting things. Okay, this is a smaller brush than and I thought, I think that's all you need to clean out the tray. Extension cord looks to be maybe about three feet, three or four feet. So you might need an extension for that if you're connecting this uh, from an outlet that's far away from where it's hanging at. Or you can place this on the table. It does have a on off switch to power up. Looks more like a computer switch, large. And here's your hook to hang this up, both sides. It does give you the chain. Just have to either have a hook hanging from the ceiling, and it weighs about, I'd say less than five pounds. Definitely less than five, five pounds. It looks like it has some stands here where you can you lay this flat yeah um in the photos they have it standing up or hanging like this so i'm not sure what these are for in case i guess it falls down it protects this so these are awfully large i mean you can't fit your finger inside although a child possibly could um so you want to keep this away from them it is high voltage and you can see that's where the bugs get zapped. 
and this should be a tray that you can pull out. Let me see here. Yeah, this tray right here, you can slide right forward. And it's nice because it has grooves around it, so it won't be falling all over the place, um, unlike some of the lamp bug zapper. It's just a cap. And once you open it, it's all over the place. So this, there you go. So let's plug this in and see how the lights look like. Right, so it's nice that it has an on off switch. So you won't worry about short circuiting it with the on off switch here. Oh yeah, very nice. It's, uh, it doesn't have any humming noise. Some of the bug zapper does have a humming noise. I don't know why the top one is flickering. Let's just, uh, how it attracts the, the bugs. But we'll test this out, especially at nighttime, and uh, we'll do a follow-up video. But yeah, this light is, supposedly this UV light, you can stare at it and it won't harm you, unlike the other bug zapper. So this is designed more for indoors. So you can leave this on with kids and people running around and it won't won't cause them any eye damage if you stare directly at it. But yeah, it looks very high tech. I would say with the white white design. Um, most of the other bug zapper are again it's like a lamp and it's usually black. I mean they're all plastic. This just looks premium more premium. Yeah I know it's just a bug zapper but if you can have it out, it's nice to make people think that it's not a bug zapper. I mean, just looking at this, it just looks like a some sort of device, like a heater, portable heater, um, if you just take a quick glance at it. But very futuristic in how it's, how it's designed. You don't have like a 360, it's more of a 180 and then one I mean, you, you lose some uh, surface area here of attracting bugs on the side, but I don't think that really matters because they made this more like a laptop. So you'll be attracting more like, I wouldn't say it's full 180, um, more like 140 on each side. So you don't have a full 360 um, coverage. But apparently it has 4.3, star rating so i'll post a link where you can find this uh they do sell this at home depot lowe's um but it's slightly more expensive i believe it's like 10 to 20 dollars more and i'll post a link where you can find this online for a lot cheaper thanks for watching remember to subscribe and have a great summer take care